We're gonna pretend I didn't just run around and scream for an hour. Why does it smell like smoke? Poops is having a campfire roast at two o'clock in the afternoon. What the? Okay, okay, wait. I think um, I have water buckets. Um, oh, uh, no, but this is not what it looks like. Where are, I, you? Wait, where are you? Um, I totally wasn't practicing my magic at 3 a.m. in the morning. Two uh, things, two things. One, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. And second, I knew you were a magic key, but if you had Igni, you could have just told me. What the fuck is Igni? Excuse me? I have fire magic, not igni. Yeah, fire the magic, igni, same about. thing. I have never heard anyone say that fire magic was also called igni. Well, I am a nerd. No one ever used any old language words with you? Old language? I knew I was a nerd, but I didn't realize I was this much of a nerd. It's this language that used to exist. Nobody speaks it fully anymore because no one's used it in generations, and the only thing we know are like certain words, and a lot of those words refer to magic types. So like igni was their word for someone who had fire magic. Right, okay. There's been years of research on this. There's documentation about it. We just don't have any of the original documents with the actual language. It's just been passed down orally. I guess this makes sense if you've never heard of the multiverse, but like- See what now? Excuse me? I've said this multiple occasions, Ryu. A multiverse that does really? exist, and it has existed for millennia. At least it's been three since the multiverse was like aware of itself. Please tell me you had right. some semblance of an idea that this existed. Nah, I, I got no idea what you're talking about. Well, uh, surprise! You live in a vast multiverse of different worlds with different magical systems and many different peoples and cultures and lovely stuff. Well, I mean, considering I'm punching grass for no reason at all right now. Okay, you know what? You know. If you, last time you had to babysit me, I'm gonna babysit you today. Let's go inside and get some food and tea so you don't start screaming, because you, you you seem to have used a lot of mana with that, and I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to pass out from, from magic goodness, so let's let's just go inside. Can you even pass out magic? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I've used too much I know exhaustion. I, I, I know exhaustion is one of them. Oh yeah, people have died from overuse of magic. You're making it sound like I could never use my magic ever again. Okay, let me, let me make that more clear. What... It takes a lot to die from it. You would have to go on like full blast for like three hours, which hardly anybody does unless they're like actively fighting for their life, in which case, you know, there's not much you can do. But in 90% of cases, you're gonna be just fine. I just don't want you to become sick, which is why I'm asking you to eat food and sleep and regain your energy. It's yeah, like... so uh, three hours is max, right? <laughs> well, if you're going on like full, full blast, like as much of your power as you can possibly use, which is like, again, oh. really difficult to do for even a couple minutes, so. We're not gonna talk about Thursday night. <laughs> oh, you know what I actually recently found? What are those? Sick dairy! Are those poisonous? No! That's really cool, Ryu. I hate to break it to you, though. You know how dogs can have chocolate? What? Goats can't have sweet berries. Oh. <laughs> that would kill me. <laughs> just so you know, if you go behind my house and you just keep going behind my house, past the village, and you keep going further and 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 further, and further, and further um, you'll eventually probably happen upon a shack that has a sign that says Ryu's Shack 2.0 that says, I got lost, El Mayo. Um... Really, you really got far lost. Time. You, the Ryu last name unknown got lost. Yes, yeah. I knew you were valuable. I knew you had some weakness. Thank God, I'm not the only idiot around here. Let's go. I have something right. that I'm about to show you slash tell you. I just need you to promise me you're not gonna show or tell anybody else about it. Sure. Okay. Can you follow me then. So, um, let's let's just look at these real quick. So this little like bench thingy, huh? Wow, look at that, a trapdoor. Wow, look at that. Oh, there's a, yeah. Wow, okay, so not only do I have secret entrances in my house, you do too. Don't Hold worry up. about the signs, that's for potential people who are, I don't invite down here. Don't go down there, there's um, there's lava down that way, but down here. Oh, 
Yeah. Like I said, welcome to uh, my laboratory or future laboratory. Uh, I, know, I have extra store stuff down here for the most part right now, but um, this isn't the full thing. It's not done yet. Back here, this is gonna be a library eventually. I'm gathering books, an enchanting table in the middle, you know. This hasn't been dug out yet, but it will be eventually. This back here is gonna be a laboratory. That's the important part. Wait, you're also making a lab? Also? Team! Huh. I'm gonna tell you straight up, most of these experiments that we're gonna be revolving around trying to get us out of here. Other part of it is... Kind of, um... How do I put this delicately? Figuring out what the f any of this means. Like, what this is all about. Which doesn't necessarily help us escape, it's literally just to satiate my own curiosity. Here's the thing though, the experiments I have in mind right now, which I haven't started yet, could potentially be dangerous. Not for you, not for anybody else, but for me. I don't know what they'll do. Now, I don't care about that personally. Like, I don't mind. But I don't mind getting hurt if it's to help other people. That's the other thing too, is like, we can't die on the servers. Doesn't necessarily mean we couldn't die outside of it though, and that's where the problem comes in. If this thing kills us outside of the server, that's an issue. If the experiment I do gets us out of the server, but kills on the other side, we don't want that. We can't have that. So if that happens, I'm leaving stuff oh. around that'll let you know if it happens. And if it does, I'm asking you, and I know this is a lot to ask of you, and I can totally understand if you want to refuse it, you are absolutely welcome to do so. If that happens, could you tell everybody else what happened? What I was trying to do? I don't want you to put yourself in harm's way, so I'm not asking you to like, do the same thing I did. Can I- can I trust you to do that? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. No. Okay. I don't want to- I'm not trying to pressure you. Are you sure? But, yeah. No. No problem, buddy. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Very appreciative, yeah. Um, but I do have one thing to add to that. Um, so while I was exploring, actually, I came into a few, like, you know, villains, and I happened to notice that one of them was carrying around this, like, voodoo-looking doll thing. I think I called it a totem, but, like, I killed that guy and he came back. That could be something that we could get and, like, invest in. Was a totem, like, a golden color? Golden, looked like a voodoo doll, really cursed-looking, had, like, emerald green eyes. Those are real? But I yeah. thought those were just legends! I didn't think they were real! How did the person get ah. that in? Or was it just like a preset? I, what? It, it, I think you saw a dude use a totem of undying. Oh my god, my my mom used to tell me like stories about that all the time when I was little. That was like one of the two things I really loved. That story and the story of like multiverse creation. It was so cool. Oh my god, I thought those were just myths. I didn't think they were real. We absolutely you should. Know, if, the, if, the, if the myth is anywhere near true. You know, if the if the totems thing is real, then probably the universe creation thing is real. I mean, like, well, hello, we're in a different universe right now. No, no, no. The multiverse is real, but like the story about how it was created is kind of a myth. Oh, really? How does that go? It's a bit of a it's a bit of a story. Um, do you want to go upstairs and then I can tell you where? Yeah, sure. Actually, I have a place that we can go. Uh, I just don't want to be in this rain. I hate rain. I mean, I don't hate rain, but just I don't like getting wet in it. It really messes up my hair and makes it stick to my horns and all that. Yeah. Sorry, you what now? You didn't notice this whole entire time? Oh, we have horns! That's so cool! Yeah, I Wait, kind of got rain? my beanie dirty, so I had to like clean it and all that, mm. which I'm honestly kind of glad I didn't bring it today because I would have gotten soaked. The water. I forget. So. Here's the thing, right? I might not tell it the me like the best because I'm not much of a storyteller, but this is a story my mom used to tell me all the time and it was like my favorite mm -hmm. story growing up. The only yeah. thing I've ever really told it is one time my mom wasn't home and my sister really, really, really wanted to hear it before she went to bed and was like, come on Nova, you gotta tell me this story. And I was like, okay, fine. So, you know, that's like the only time I've actually told it myself. So apologies if it's not great. A long time ago, when the multiverse was nothing more than an empty void, there lived three sisters, Fallacy, Truth Seeker, and Endmaker. Each of the three had a unique power. Endmaker was gifted with creating life, and so she went about forming the people and the animals, carving their lives out the way she wanted them to be. Truth Seeker was gifted with creating worlds, and so she made the rolling fields and thick woodlands, the puffy clouds and heavy thunder, and the most beautiful sunsets you would ever see. The two of them, together, created the first universe out of the nothing surrounding them, and it was wonderful. Fallacy, meanwhile, was not able to use her power for a very long time. She had to wait for something first, and one day, as the three sisters looked down upon their beloved world, they saw a young human boy fall and break his ankle. What they expected next was for the tribe to leave the boy behind. He would only slow them down, unable to hunt or defend himself. Instead, to the sister's surprise, 
His older brother saw him and carried him into a cave, with the rest of the tribe following. The entire group stayed in the area, feeding and caring for the boy, and not a single person left until he was healed. Fallacy knew then that it was time for her powers to be used. She gifted the older boy the magic of Arbora, of healing, and he became the first magicky. Many years later, the boy's daughter inherited Arbora too, and another child was gifted Igni by Fallacy. So it went for many generations, with one new power being gifted each time, until Magicki roamed the countryside with her Ni'ili brethren, creating and healing and fighting for each other. And this was the way it was meant to be. Eventually, Endmaker and Truthseeker worked together and created the hybrid races, half man and half animal, and they multiplied as well. But now the sisters were bored. Having given all that they could, they wished for something new to grant the humans below. It was fallacy who thought to take all of their powers together and tug at the loose thread of a timeline, thus forming it into a new and separate universe. Endmaker gladly accepted this task, but Truthseeker was more wary. What if the humans got out of control? What if these universes began forming on their own? Fallacy was quick to reassure her sisters, though. If anything goes wrong, she said, we can simply stop it, can't we? We created this world. We can destroy it, too. Satisfied with this answer, Truthseeker joined her sisters and made many new universes, each teeming with life and rich with culture. And that is how the multiverse was made. And um, I'm not quite sure how it ends, but I think that's it. Ta-da. That's interesting. Yeah, you know, I'm curious, like, if there were some worlds that the three sisters didn't make that are now part of the multiverse. The thing is, again, it's, it's a myth. People have already been researching for years and years and years about how this kind of multiverse would even start. The main theory is that somewhere there's a universe, it's kind of called Alpha, but no one knows if it actually exists. And it's a universe that's supposedly the first one, right? And that all the other universes came from it, but no one's been able to find it so far, or if we have found it, they don't know which one it is. Kind of like the huh. last common ancestor of different species. It has bits and pieces that fall into every single species of animal on Earth. Kind of like how cats are related to tigers, almost, yeah, or exactly. big cats. Thank you.